Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carob Spice, pregnant Carob Spice. I'm expecting my second baby, like obviously you guys can see that in the video. That belly is huge, but I'm sharing a workout without any kind of weights. All you'll need is a chair. And what I'm doing here at the start of the video is a quick little warm up. You know, that is very important if you are trying to avoid injuries. And given all that is going on, I am trying to avoid any kind of hospital visits unless absolutely necessary. So I'm just trying to be safe. But I put together this workout. Now, honestly, I this is what I do in real time. So any exercise that I show you after the warm up, I usually do about three sets. You guys know I'm all about the weightlifting. Um, that is really what helped me transform my body back in 2014 to 2016 that period of time and um i will always push for that for weightlifting but obviously being this pregnant i have to play it safe so a little warm up here and there stretch out my muscles um this quarantine life is not gonna get me i'm really trying to keep active I do go outside, you guys know I uploaded a couple of outdoor videos and um, we have weights around the house. I don't really like working out in the garage, that's where most of our weights are, but um, I do like getting outside of the house like in the yard and throwing around some weights, but you know on this particular day it was very very gloomy, but I needed to do something because y'all, yeah, cabin fever is real um, I'm still dealing with hyperemesis hyperemesis gravidarum so on the days I feel a little bit okay I do something just to capitalize on that because it's not easy I always laugh um, you know like <laughs> and compare the pregnancy that I had with Abney to this second time around and I'm like wow some of you guys were saying every pregnancy is different now I know <laughs> so anyway the first um, exercise exercise that I did here was a squat so I did about 8 to 12 reps and I used the chair just to kind of gauge you know I didn't want to go past a certain point because the joints are really really loose at this point in time I'm not trying to fall and embarrass myself on camera or just hurt myself or the baby right so feel free to throw in a chair then I got a little bit ambitious and I did um some people will say pistol squats but I just kind of improvised and just challenged myself a little bit did about six um, reps for each leg and then I actually repeated the whole routine the entire thing because remember at the beginning I said I did about I did three sets for each exercise okay so that's the thing about YouTube videos I don't want you guys to feel like okay this is all I do like what you see is just all I do in reality the workout is gonna take me probably like an hour okay just doing about three sets each um, working around interruptions um, Ebony is attached to the hip and just having to do other things here and there, taking potty breaks, those things take a while. So yeah, probably a solid hour. Then these squats are my favorite, um, just bodyweight squats with a kick. I like them, they feel really good on my hips and I honestly don't think you can squat enough, especially when you're getting ready for birth. Um, that's another story because I don't know what kind of birth I'm gonna have. Um, my mind is not there. My mind should be there because that can really happen anytime soon. But um, the first time around, I had a C-section, and I'm not even gonna get into that. But you know, babies do what they do. So maybe you know, maybe baby number two will decide to come vaginally. So better be safe than sorry so squat 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 that is that is what you're gonna see a lot of in my workout my pregnant workout videos then I went with some high kicks 
Um, that also feels really, really good, especially on my lower back for some re weird reason. Um, some high kicks uh, feel really good on my hips because I do have um, hip pain, especially at night when I have to sleep on my side. I use the pillows, I do all of the stuff that I'm supposed to do, but I think these pains are inevitable as I prepare for birth. And then of course, um, I got some jump squats in. I look back at my old videos where I was doing some of these and some people freaked out. They were like, oh my gosh, aren't these bad for the baby? I'm not doing anything here that would harm my baby. That's just ridiculous. I'm trying to have a safe but fit pregnancy. So anything that I do, believe me when I say I um, shared that with my caregivers and also um, prenatal fitness coaches. I am that kind of person. I will get a second and a third opinion if I have to. And so in between workouts, I stretch. Um, I know I don't show a lot of stretches, but it's something I actually do a lot of. And I'm thinking, you know, moving forward, maybe that's what I need to show more of, like real time um, workouts. Then I went with some um, leg raises to the side. Uh, some people will call them abductions. I don't know, it's just a variation. And also some kickbacks. I could have used the wall for support, but I didn't really like how that felt um, the last time I did that. So it just felt like I was too upright. So I decided to work with the chair. And um, I did some kickbacks. I just kind of um, thought of getting some ankle weights. I think that's what I'm going to do. I used to have, but I don't know what happened. I think I um, left them somewhere, probably in the gym, but I'm probably going to get some ankle weights just to add some resistance. But anyway, at this point in time, I'm not really working out to build muscle. I'm trying to save what I have. Hyperemesis Gravidarum took a very serious toll on me. You guys would have heard me say I lost how many pounds? 15 pounds or so in six weeks. And also, um, that would mean muscle as well, right? Not fun. Not fun at all. So, <laughs> postpartum, I am really, really going to be ambitious and really take you guys on a journey. I'm not counting things before, but I'm just saying that is really where my mind is at. Then I did some um, wall push-ups. Uh, there's so many variations you can do. I could have done them with the chair as well um, and you know push from the floor but I didn't have my mat at the time and I didn't want to really stop and go find the mat and come back and do all of that. So this is one variation if you haven't done um, push-ups. It can feel really weird when you have all of that weight in front of you, but um, the belly also provides um, resistance. And then some side stretches. So, you know, this overall workout routine is like a, a full body workout. Okay, bearing in mind that I'm doing this three times. Okay, and um, it may never seem like we're doing a lot, you know, like pregnant women's you're probably thinking you know what is she doing this is not even a challenge but you know ladies if you're out there and you're expecting or you ha you carry the baby you know very well this is a stroll <laughs> and so that was it and then towards the end of my workout I did some stretches just to cool down and relax and enjoy and just take some deep breaths in and to be quite honest, after this, I actually went for a nice walk around the block. Of course, we all practice social distancing. Thank you guys for listening and do take care. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment. And until next time, peace.